weather. Carol is with us. Hello. Good morning, working? Joanna. We've got mixed fortunes with the weather today. Some of us seeing some sunshine, but some of us are seeing some rain. And we've got some cracking weather watchers pictures to show you of the rain. This one's sent in by Bath Matt in Bath, and ironically, it is raining. And then as we push elsewhere, we're also looking at Cumbria seeing some rain. And we've also got some more rain too across North Yorkshire. So there's quite a lot of rain across parts of England and Wales. And that rain is going to continue to move northwards as we go through the course of today it's the north of Scotland that will hang on to the sunshine for the longest period of time what's happening is this area of low pressure is driving our weather now we've got one front going to the east another one following right in its heels in the middle of these fronts it's pretty muggy and there's a lot of dampness around and fairly cloudy the satellite picture shows currently where we've got the breaks in the cloud and the sunshine but we've had some heavy rain overnight across Wales and parts of southern England the rain is now a bit lighter but you can see our first front going across the south across the Channel Islands into the southeast, the second band heading steadily northeastwards, so it's a far north of Scotland hanging on to the brightest skies. By this afternoon, the rain will have moved out of Northern Ireland, but there'll still be some showers in its wake, some bright spells developing. The rain across western Scotland, the sunshine across the highlands and most of the Grampians, but the cloud will build through the course of the day. Highs in Edinburgh up to 18. There's the rain across the north of England, again cloudy and dank. We've got some spots at the moment, but nothing much more than that. But the rain will move in through the day. And we've got the rain into the Midlands and East Anglia. But as you can see, there's a lot of cloud around. Now, we will see some breaks in the clouds. It's not necessarily going to be sunny. It's more likely to be bright breaks. And when that happens, the temperature will scoot up. Still murky conditions across southwest England and Wales with some hill fog around too. Now through the evening and overnight, there goes the rain and if anything, it will rejuvenate as it crosses Scotland. We've also got the tail end of it coming across southern England and the Channel Islands and we've also got some more rain coming in from the west. It's essentially that area of low pressure getting closer to us. And tomorrow what you'll find is it's going to continue with us as well. We've got it moving steadily out towards the sea. Now you can see where we've got the low pressure with the front moving across it. So initially heavy rain for Northern Ireland and also Scotland, but that will turn more showery through the day. Across England and Wales, largely dry, some sunshine, possibly a couple of showers across Wales. But tomorrow the main feature of the weather is going to be the wind. It's going to be a windy day and seasonably so. We could see some gales across the Irish Sea, particularly off the coasts of Wales and the southwest. So if you're on holiday, maybe thinking about taking out a small vessel, a small boat, anything of that nature, do bear that in mind. It could be problematic, equally if you are camping. But it's going to feel fresher tomorrow with highs of 24. Now, inland, we're also looking at gusts of wind, potentially up to 40 miles an hour. So, again, if you're camping, it's something certainly worth bearing in mind too.